Before we get started creating our line graph, you should have downloaded the fire statistics data file found in your project resources. Since we're creating a line graph, all of the data can be found underneath the line section of this data file. So to get started, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator, go up to File and create a new document. The name of this document can be Line Graph. The size of it will be a 10 by 10 area working in inches, only one artboard with no bleed, and under the advanced options, make sure RGB color mode is selected. We'll say Create, and this will give us our work area. To find the Line Graph tool, look at the bottom of your toolbox, and it may be hiding underneath one of the other graph tools. Select the Line tool, then click and drag inside of the artboard area to start your simple line graph. Notice that when you do this, it'll also open up your data entry dialog box. We want to slide this over so we can also see our data points. And I'm going to highlight all of our data right here. Go up to Edit and Copy. Jump back into Illustrator. Make sure this first cell is selected. Then go to Edit and Paste. Now when we place the data inside of here, there's a couple of errors or issues that Illustrator first has to fix. The first issue is that all of our dates are being recognized as numbers instead of dates or special text that they are. Notice the little decimal point that it's automatically adding. So in order to get Illustrator to read this as a text date instead of a numerical number, we need to add quotations around all of the dates. Even though quotes will show up here, they won't show up in your final design. So take some time and add quotes, and if you mistakenly type it, around each of the dates that are here. Now the other issue has to be with these numbers. If we were to click the checkbox now, this will give us a warning saying there must be at least one number to graph. We'll say OK to this. This is because Illustrator does not recognize the comma inside of these values as being a thousand um, number. So in each of these numbers, we need to go in and remove each of the commas. Now that this is done, when we hit the checkbox, this will create the line graph that we're wanting to see. Now let's further refine the look of our graph. I'm going to close out my data. With the graph still selected, let's go to Object, down to Graph, and choose Type. And inside the Type, at the very top, click on Graph Options and choose the Axis value. Under the Axis value, we want to change the high and low number for this value and give it some more tick marks to go across. So we're going to choose Override Calculated Value, set the minimum value to be 1500, the maximum value to be 2500, and the number of divisions will set to 10. When we say OK, this will redraw our values for our data so that it can be seen a little bit better within the graph value that we have. Now let's clean up the look and feel of our graph. I'm going to choose my selection tool, click on my graph. In order to scale it down, I can't use my selection tool, so I'm going to use my scale tool. With scale, I can click and drag, and you can see it will easily and quickly scale down everything nice and accordingly. From here, I can use my direct selection tool to select all of the lines that were created, and let's change the color of those lines and indicators. I'm going to choose my stroke color, we'll set it to be red, and we'll set the stroke to be much thicker. In addition to this, I'll select my type on the left-hand side, change my font to be much larger, maybe a little bit smaller. And down at the very bottom, I want to stagger all of these dates so that I can see them a little bit better. One of the easiest things I can do is to go through each one and then drop it down just a little bit more. So every odd year is what I'll select and then move it down.
now that they're in place, I'll change up their style to be easily read that way. The last thing that I may do is to add a background color to this area. Choose my rectangle tool, click and drag over this area, open up my swatch libraries. I liked those bright colors under the gradients. Let's give it a bright contrasting color that we can send to the back. Once we're finished with this, we'll select everything again, center it up onto our area. And let's go to File and Save our document. Again, the title of it should be your line graph, and I'm going to keep it the native Illustrator file and save it to my desktop. This Illustrator file is what you'll upload to Moodle once you're finished. You can continue to refine it however you see fit.